lovely and beautiful, Miss Dolly Parton. Like this. this is my London outfit. The guy that puts my clothes together said we got a, He built an outfit around these boots, and we found it. Like but anyway, thank you for coming. We're just real happy to be part of this whole week of the CMA starting. I sort of feel like I'm helping getting it started out. But we're we've done our little show that they've edited down. Of course, when you get your CD and DVD in your basket later. It'll have the whole show, but we kind of, so you didn't have to stay here all night, get the highlights of it. But thank you for coming, and hope you will enjoy it. Now, I understand you're going to ask me some questions, and I'm going to do my best to answer. <laughs> Don't lock me down here. Yeah, knock Good her down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and please tell us who you are. Becky Palmer, B104.7 Syracuse. <laughs> I just love you, Dolly. Well, thank you. My name's Rebecca, too. Are you Becky or Rebecca? I'm Becky. And I love you even more because okay. you said that. Um, Dolly, I, I polled a lot of people, and the one question they wanted me to ask, when you come to this pinnacle in your career, obviously, it's not about money. What's the driving... Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that? It's always about money. Is, is, isn't there more to it than that? Well, yes, there is. Actually, I still love doing what I do. I've been at this. I've been in Nashville for, um, I've been on the Grand Ole Opry for 40 years. I came here in uh, 1964 uh, when I graduated from high school from up East Tennessee. And I love it just as much now as I did when I walked down the streets of Music Row trying to get a record deal. And I just wanted somebody to hear my songs, wanted them to like them. And I wanted to travel around the world and dress up in stupid looking little clothes and, <laughs> <laughs> and be able to get away with it. But anyhow, I, I do love it. I still love what I do. And uh, it never was about money. I always wanted the money because you know my joke. It costs a lot to look so cheap. But it's, that's the truth. But I would still be doing it if I had to sing in a nightclub working at a restaurant. I'd still be singing my songs. So it's just wonderful that I've had such a good career and been able to do so many things and I just feel very blessed and thanks. Yeah, thank you. Mr. Eddie? Yes. It's nice to meet you nice finally. To meet you, Charlotte. Well, they're just, get a room. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dolly, it's Hello. Eddie and this is my friend Corey. We're from The Wolf in San Francisco. Oh, great. Good How to you see doing? you. I'm good. I don't have a question. We just wanted to come out 1,500 miles and say we love you. Well, thanks. And you're, you're here for the whole week, ever. right? We're here for a few days. Yeah, we're doing all kinds of press, and yeah, so we've been seeing everybody. Just wanted to tell you how much we loved Backwoods Barbie and supported oh, it in San thank Francisco. You. I think that's a well, great, great record, and we well, just think you're the best. Well, I we appreciate you. that. I we like Danny, best, too. He's all right. Him. Oh, Danny's a good one, yeah. <laughs> Danny Nozell, my manager over here, he's responsible for putting all this to, together here tonight. He and a great group of others. <laughs> Oh, Dolly. it's you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> with Dog Global. I wanted you to talk about the Dolly Live in London DVD, and also, how does this trip compare to Dolly, was it 1979 Live in London? Yeah, we did it. We did uh, Live from London, and I guess it was 79 or somewhere in there. It was a long time ago. And so now we're back. We've always had a lot of fans in London, and we don't get to go overseas as much as we'd like to. Because you can't just up and say, well, let's run over to London for a couple of days and do a tour. You kind of have to plan it like a year in advance. But anyhow, it had been a long time since we'd done a live album. And this one uh, is different because it's now. And you, we still got some of the same people, though, believe it or not, in the band that I had during that uh, particular show that we did then. But this one was fun because we went on a five-week tour. We went all over... Uh, Europe. We went to all Scandinavian countries, we went to Ireland, Scotland, and we ended our two days, uh, the last two days was in London at the O2 Arena. So we were just filming our shows and we thought, well, we'll just, you know, document our whole tour. We got back home and we looked at all the footage and how great the audience was at the theater, how great it sounded and how the lighting and how the audience was all into every song. And we started putting it together and we thought we should put it out as a, as a DVD and a CD. And so we did. And it's just, uh, it's just me up there doing what I've always done and it's just hopefully something you'll enjoy. We had to edit down this so you won't have to stay here all night, but 
as I mentioned before, you can see it in its entirety later, but hopefully you'll get the highlights. It was just fun for us, and so you'll you'll see some of the stuff. But thanks for remembering the other one. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Dolly. Gary Lee Love. I'm with KBMT ABC TV. Well, you sure are. Beaumont, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> George Jones is on stomping grounds in the back. Oh, I had all these wonderful people backstage <laughs> come out to support me and help me out, so they're great. George is back there, by the way. Great. We'll see you in a little while, I hope. I, um, I just had a question about the way radio has changed and the record industry. Uh, all the music has changed in Nashville the way they do things, and here you are, it's like it's never phased you. Uh, how have you adapted to all this? I mean, it's like you never miss a beat. You just go right on. Well, you adapt or you die. You know, you just kind of surround yourself with what's going on, and I always try to surround myself with people that are smarter than me and just keep it rolling, because I love what I do. I never plan to retire. I want to be, not necessarily just being on stage, but you know that would be ideal. To, as I've often said, I'd love to drop dead in the middle of a song that I was singing, and hopefully one I've written myself. But any song, any song, <laughs> any song. But anyhow, but I do love this, and I will be at it till they lay me down, as George Jones would say, till the grass grows over me. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm Stacey McLeod with Fox 17, and um, I'm from East Tennessee. So you I know, are. yeah. So I know East Tennessee fans are the best. But you've mentioned in interviews before that your European fans are so loyal. Talk about this maybe being one of the reasons you wanted to do this for them. Well, it's just always good. I think one of the reasons we did it in London is not that they're that we love the fans overseas more than we do our own people. It's just that your fans here they can come see you anytime they know where you are, whether you're at Dollywood or somewhere else. And we've always had wonderful crowds. But when you don't get to go overseas that much, they really want to let you know how much they love you and that they want you to come back. And in case you don't come back, they want to kind of send you off with a, you know, with a bang. So we enjoyed it, and I think it kind of gives everybody a feeling like they got to travel to London. We went out and shot a whole bunch of wonderful stuff in that great city there, and I'm sure most of you have been to London, right? No? How many have been to London? Yeah, so it's a wonderful, wonderful city to see. So we, we actually did a whole lot of special little things to kind of get everybody watching the DVD feel like they were traveling with us and showed the jet and the cars and trying to you know make it look like I was a star or something. You know, <laughs> come in and out. And then we did some interviews and talked to our band. So we did a few fun little things. But the crowds are great there. And I don't love them any more than I love my American crowds, but they, they love us because they don't get to see us much. Hi, Miss Dolly. How are you? I'm good. You look fantastic. I'm Kelly well, Sutton you. from Fox 17, Tennessee Mornings. And thank you for my rocking chair, by oh, the way. Oh, well, you're welcome. You look awesome. beautiful and it looks great in the baby's room. Okay. I just want to know, you're constantly raising the bar whenever you're doing any live shows. So what are we going to see in this DVD that we have never seen before from Miss Dolly? Not a thing. You said something. <laughs> like, this is, I hope I ain't hyping it too much. It's just that it's out and it's Christmas and we're trying to sell it. Cause <laughs> it, makes a, it makes a good print. And it wraps up really nice, but if you've ever seen me at all, it's you know it's just some of, of what I do. It's just me in London doing it. You know? And hopefully you'll enjoy it. She's being honest. Yeah. It's hot in here. Isn't it? Yes, it is. But that's okay. You got one big happy family together. Oh, they ain't happy. They're hot. 